Okay, so next demo, let's see, what have we got? We're going to do a GIS 2 CAD translation. Um, I noticed that 60, well, nearly two thirds of people are, are doing some sort of GIS to CAD, so um, uh, probably an important one to, uh, to cover here. So I'm just going to get rid of that translation. And what I'm going to do here is it's going to go from an Esri shape file into um, uh, MicroStation uh, V8. We're going to write MicroStation this time. But then I'm going to write AutoCAD as well, because I know lots of people use AutoCAD. So we're going to write AutoCAD as well as MicroStation, but we'll start out with, uh, with MicroStation. So we, again, we should probably look at the source data that we're working with. And FME data, it's in my CAD GIS folder. And it's a bunch of parks within the city of Vancouver. So we have park polygons and dog off-leash areas is what we're looking at. So we have a whole bunch of polygons and the off-leash parks are denoted by a little um, symbol, which I'm just going to increase so you can see it a little bit better. So this is what we're starting out with in our shape um, data set. And I hope you're seeing that um, that on screen. Yeah, we are. Great. OK, so let's go back to Workbench and let's translate that data. So I'm going to generate the workspace. Again, all I need to do is put my source format in there. I'm going to browse, find the polygons and the dog leashes. And this time we're writing to MicroStation V8. And I'm going to write it to the output folder and call it parks.dgn. Now some of the nice things I can do when I'm writing data is I can also click that parameters button and find all of the different parameters that exist uh, within FME for my uh, microstation output. For example, I can change the seed file that I'm using, uh, defaulting to uh, 3D in meters and I'm just going to change it to 2D in meters two dimensions. Also I can specify the cell library so that's what I'm going to do in my uh, let's see in my CAD2GIS folder I've got a, a cell library set up and I'm going to tell FME this is the cell library we're using. Okay so I'm just going to click OK again that's going to generate my workspace and that's what we've got. Okay so I could just run that and it would uh, it would create some data, but it would only create points. It wouldn't create um, cells or blocks, which is what I really want to do. So what we have is a transformer called uh, a DGN Styler, and as we'll see in a moment, we've got a, an equivalent for AutoCAD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to basically um, create cells uh, in the MicroStation output. So I'm going to open that up. Uh, cells, I just need to specify the library again and the cell name, what I can do is click on this FME will scan through that cell library, pick a list of cells out and I'm going to pick the only one that's in there, it's called Doggy Park and we've got what sort of mode do we want to put them in, do we want to put them in shared or do we want to put them as library, individual uh, they can be relative cells, they can be rotated, they can have all sorts of different things uh, going on here and in fact, we could rotate it by a particular attribute value. So I could say, oh, the rotation of the, the, um, the symbol uh, represents the hours that the park is open or something like that. I'm not going to do that this time, but that's the sort of thing I can do uh, when I'm writing this data. And the size, I'm going to make it 50 units. And again, that's something you can set to an attribute value. So I could do that for the hours. I could say the bigger the symbol, the longer that park is open. So that's one DGN style I'm going to create. Uh, I'm going to put another one in here now. And this one is going to just give a style to the lines. So I can color that by level. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to say pick a, just pick a uh, microstation color. So zero for the outline and the fill is going to be number two, which is green. And I'm going to click OK. I done that right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to run that translation now, and let's. When that's finished, I'm going to pull up MicroStation, and I'm going to open that data. 
So let's see, parks, parks.tgn, here we go. So hopefully that's just opening up now. And if I fit that to view, you'll see we've got the data there. I just need to turn on uh, color fill to make sure it's filled properly. Uh, if I can find zoom in, I can zoom in. And what I'm probably going to have to do is just turn off the... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't get any... Oh, there we go. There's the dogs. So we've got the dog cell uh, in there on the default level. So that's what the uh, the doggy cell symbol looks like to represent a dog park. So basically we've converted to MicroStation, we've colored the, the polygon features, and we've created um, a cell uh, as we did it.